Though anyone strong enough, once reaching the age of 10, earned the right to sail one of the fishing ships, only those who had come of age were allowed on the deep sea ships and trading vessels, with no exceptions. Prior to coming of age, Jashine dreamed of the day he would sail by his father's side, possibly his first mate, but when the day of his first trip arrived, he learned that not only being his son didn't carry the weight he had hoped, but he also didn't have the skills to truly deserve to be on his father's crew. His father had other thoughts, though, for when Jashine told him of his concerns, he presented his own terms. Put simply, Jashine would be allowed to sail every route his father sailed, provided that from the time the crew awoke to the midday meal, Jashine would devote himself to studying. Ordinary people don't sail on my ships, he heard his father's words echo in his mind, and they never have. If you want to be ordinary, then you can take the ordinary routes, but if you want the best... If you want to sail the whole of the nine islands and beyond, then being average won't cut it. You must be much more. He knew exactly what his father had in mind. He knew his father's intentions. However, he wanted to sail more, so he swore to himself to endure. Some of the lessons he did enjoy, though, such as studying the maps. Maps were always fascinating, and when he was younger, he used to dream of what the other islands or distant lands even looked like. He had already seen most of the islands he had wanted to see, but every new place only made him want to see more, see further. He learned to write and read through daily log entries, which is a condition placed upon him even earlier when he was just a cabin boy. Day's wage for a day's entry, his father had said. That's how you'll be paid, and I will require full sentences. After discovering words, however, he discovered history, and then his dreams were given substance and wings. Far-off lands and battles could now be painted in his mind, but also he could finally understand what all his father and the other captains really did. He discovered the joys of astronomy when stories told of how past ships used to use the sky to navigate, and mathematics helped him turn general distances and speed into actual calculable numbers. Everything had value, he concluded. He just wasn't sure if he was ready for what all it meant.